In the midst of all the high cost of living, jobs and empowering small businesses could be a way out. So let's discuss federal government's interventions with MSMEs and job creation with a senior special assistant to the president on job creation and MSMEs, Mr. Timitola Dekule Johnson joins us from Abuja studio. Mr. Johnson, good afternoon. And thank you so much for your time. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. So I guess uh, we hear a lot of news of uh, efforts of the federal government, but uh, it would be what impact has that made? How much and how many people uh, could actually come out to say, yes, we are feeling the impact of the federal government's intervention? Thank you once again. Um, you recall only recently the Ministry of Trade and Investment and um, the Bank of Industry announced some of the palliative that Mr. President had um, approved as a result of this um, subsidy removal last year. And um, they're about to start their execution now. The implementation is on and is, is beginning on that. So there's the grant aspect, which is the presidential grant scheme, which, um, which seeks to give a, th um, a thousand MSMEs in every local government, about 50,000 50, now, to so the macro businesses. That's a grant they are not expected to pay back. There is the presidential MSME scheme. Now, this gives up to a million naira to an MSME. The collateral is highly, is, it is a very simplified collateral system. You collect up to a million naira. You have three million, you have three years to use that um, facility and return it at a single digit of 9%. There's also um, the manufacturer, the manufacturing scheme, which gives a billion naira to 75 small businesses. A billion naira for 75 businesses that want to expand their businesses. And this is also at um, another 9%. This is at five piece, at, um, for, for a channel of five years. Now, in all of these schemes, one thing is very consistent. The fact that the one for the MSMEs are 9%, that's a single digit rate. The one for the, MS, the, one for the manufacturing sector, 9% as a single digit rate. And the one for the very, very tiny nano businesses, 50,000, 50, those ones are just actual grants, basically. And um, don't also forget that the Bank of Industry has generously said that um, they, on their own, will, will also give out their own 75 billion naira at 9% to MSMEs. This is aside what the federal government has given. They will match with, they will match with their own 75 billion naira of their own funds to MSMEs at, at um, the same 9%. And an MSME can collect up to 5 million naira, basically, with, at a very, very, very reduced collateral system. So you don't have to bring arm and a leg before you are able to access that fund. May you also recall, if I may also let us remember that um, a few months ago, we announced a partnership with um, Access Bank. They, they, were, we, they were supposed to, they are supposed to give 50 billion naira of their own funds, though at not... At, um, not at um, single digit, they were supposed to give it at um, 15%. Now, this is, for in our own opinion, better off than the 27, 28% market rate. They're supposed to give us at um, 15%, 50 billion naira. Any SMEs that want to access that fund from about um, one, 1 million to 3 million at no, without any collateral. Then from 3 million to about 10 million naira, you'd have to provide some form of simple collateral as well. That also you are allowed three years to, to pay back. Mm. What, as, what we had agreed with Access Bank as partners is that um, this particular loan, you were going to watch the performance of the loan for a year, and after which they'll probably um, possibly move it to about 100 billion. That scheme was actually supposed to launch today as we speak. But um, if you recall the, the debt of um, Abet Wigwe, the, the Access Co. Um, MD. So as a result of that, um, both Access Bank and the, um, and the presidency decided that um, that tallies a bit and um, maybe we'll, at some point in next week, a new date for the scheme to begin will be announced to the entire public because um, the Access Bank, if I may say, if you, may, if you can give me a minute, Access Bank and um, Habit in particular have been a great support, pillar of support to everything Wow. 
Well, caught up in the, it's still a grieving moment for family and friends of Dr. Herbert Wigwe. And of course, here on Channels Television, we do not take that lightly. We um, commiserate with the family. It's okay, we do understand, Mr. Johnson, we share in, in this grief because obviously uh, Dr. Herbert touched many lives, you know, and so we do grieve with you right there, Mr. Johnson. I wonder if you feel you can continue with, or we could postpone this, you know, if you, if you feel you are not up to um, finishing up the conversation. Mr. Johnson, can you hear me? I, I think, I th I, yes, I can hear you. I think right. I'd rather go ahead because um, I think um, if Herbert was here, he would rather I go ahead. Um, if you recall to, to uh, you know, the, the role is played in supporting whatever it is that we do from the presidency for MSMEs cannot be overlooked. I mean, this has spanned over many years. I also recall when um, two years ago, I particularly was ill in the hospital and was at the point of death. It was this same um, Access Bank and Habit that came through and took, took, took care of all my hospital bills and ensured that I'm alive today. So for this same man to, 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 uh, to leave us with his wife and son just heartbreaking.